everybody, and welcome to today's Section 5 JV game. Sorry, we had some technical audio difficulties. Cornell JV's coming at 8 and 0, 3 and 5 for World of Inquiry, the Griffins. Way the Griffins start out with a full court press. Going to test Hornell's ball handling ability. So a quick timeout by Coach Whitney. The 708 mark. Welcome to today's game. Bob Pleasure along with Joe Flint. Joe. Team from Rochester, another we've had some difficulty with them. We traveled to North Star Christian Academy and JV's one handly, varsity got blown out, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Right. Um, so it's always tough playing these teams and you've got their schedule. They play a lot of class A teams. They do. You know? Yeah, and they're, they're, what, what's interesting, and I think you brought it up earlier when we were talking, they, they lost the first game of the year to a class B team. Right, that was that's the varsity, obviously yeah. not the JV. This yep. is JV, but you're right. It's it's uh, they're yeah they're on an eight game win streak after losing their first game and losing it quite badly, I guess, to right. Greece Olympia. Or was it, yeah, uh, yeah, you know? by 15 points or so. so. Yeah, uh, but like I said, it t this is the you know when I'm I'm sure Coach Whitney was expecting this. Um, they want to test uh, a school like Cornell out to see if they can handle the pressure, right, and handle the speed. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. That's a good take by Ethan. Yep, good job. And Ethan Nichols. And, and right off the bat, I'm sure Coach Whitney is also telling the guys, look, we can handle everything else, but if we don't handle the boards, we're going to be in trouble. Right, and there's a steal. Jackson White knocks the ball free as Connor Smith gets it. White That's a sees a lane. Yep, beautiful job, Jackson White. So that little timeout yep. was big time for Hornell. Well, what's interesting, there's so many people that won't take that ball into the paint. Jackson White did a great job of taking the ball into the paint. Yeah, he did, and we got another timeout. We're gonna stay right with you here, since we were a little late getting on. I guess World of Inquiry Griffins. Yeah, because I, uh, I'm pretty sure I recognize the JV coach. He was a varsity coach of like Charlotte and some, some other schools, so he's an experienced coach. So I'm wondering if he's starting out with the JV program and gonna and bring them up through the ranks. Yep. <laughs> Gotta make sure we can hear you, Joe. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't want you to over-modulate me, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Uh, Coach, Coach Whitney did a great job. He called a timeout, he calmed his guys down, and, and now they absorb that first initial shock of, oh my gosh, these guys are fast, to, yeah. okay, we can handle this. Let's take our time, let's not panic. Good defense that time. Number 15, Dorian Smith. Yeah, and Callen's just telegraphing a little bit. He, he's got to look away from where he wants to pass the ball. Jackson White for three. Cornell up seven to six. Travel again. Yep. Then the art of faking a pass also. And that's a good take. Should have been a foul probably on that. That's right. I'm surprised Tanner didn't lay that ball off to Ethan, but it worked out. Yeah. Stutzman oh, throws travel. a travel. Another yeah. travel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he lifted it up. That's yeah. what counts. The official's got to make an excuse for it. <laughs> it's not the official's fault. And if I see it, you see it. We've all coached for years. That was definitely a travel. Yes. Like we said, great job by the Hornell kids to, to make the adjustment. Be disciplined. Like I said, the biggest thing is telegraphing the, the passes so the 
you know, the off-ball defenders don't get that jump on the pass. First shot's up and good, 8-0 on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Again, Bob Fleischer and Joe Flint with JV action here from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth. Live on Facebook. So we got a 10 to 6 score. away with the, the ball. World of inquiry in a zone. Looks like a 1-2-2. Two, two. Oh, anticipated that yep. time. Like I said, you, you can't telegraph these passes. Right. Ooh, and that should have been a foul on. Lucky on that one. <laughs> Good anticipation that time, number five. Is that Corey Miller? Yep. And they gotta, they gotta fake some passes. But these guys are jumping on first move. Travel. He caught that one. <laughs> Ten to six. Hornell on JV's on top. It's kind of a casual uh, slip and slide. Casual walk. And a steel breaker. We had to get two points. Inside look, but who is there? He didn't dare go up against the size of Stutzman. Just as a, you know, from a coach's standpoint for Hornell, these games are great. Even played the JVs, they they need to play these type teams. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Inside look. Beautiful job, Stutzman. Beautiful play that time by yep. Hornell in the press break. No, I, I'm very impressed with the ball movement Hornell has shown. I mean, they're eight no for a reason. Yep. And of course, another turnover there. Good job on the far side is Connor Smith. This would be the this would be the wrong day to play hero basketball, where you try to do a bunch of one on one yes. type type action. Yeah, nice fake by Jackson. Yeah. Got his man up in the air. Yeah, oh, and, yeah. Uh, you can't force that. You got plenty of time on the shot clock. Inside move that time, number one, DJ Handy. I like that name, DJ Handy. Down the other end, missing with a right-handed layup is Nichols. Again, early action here. Yep, we're now on a man, uh, looks like a man to man. That guy's close to traveling every time he touches the ball. Nice shot, but good, good job. By, yep. Yes, good job by Ethan Nichols. Can take to the basket that time is White. And we got another timeout. It's going to be a full timeout for those watching on Spectrum Cable Channel 99. We'll be back with you on Facebook Live. Stay with us. Come see why these folks and others drive several miles past several other dealerships to do business with us here at Maple City Dodge. The reason I came to Maple City Dodge was due to Gary Harwood. I've bought several vehicles here, and I keep coming back because you can't beat the service. We came to Maple City Dodge for their outstanding sales and service. We purchased our last two vehicles from Maple City Dodge and we'll be back again. It's worth the drive to Maple City Dodge because we have the best sales and service and we'll prove it. Today's game is brought to you by Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys with offices in Buffalo and Rochester. Crowd support of the Bills, the Sabres, and your Hornell Red Raiders, Connors and Ferris. Of course, Maple City Dodge 2017s are on sale. Stop up there because the 2018s are arriving daily. So. Maple City Dodge, Airport Road in Hornell. Of course, Rhonda Wilsey at Howard Handa, 382-4539. Let her buy your next home or sell your last home as well. So Rhonda Wilsey at Howard Hanna. John N. Dagan, he sponsors our scoreboard, Joe. Call 324-6690, and they just lost their dog, Jeter. Yes. Passed away. I had to text uh, Karen until I really did like Jeter. <laughs> Sorry. 
Of Occasionally, you. Jeter wasn't sure about you, right? <laughs> yeah. Is that the... <laughs> yeah, Main Street Redemption Center in Hornell. Don't forget to get your cans and bottles in there. Open seven days a week. And, of course, Pulos and Roselle. Offices in the Crossroads Professional Building, Pulos and Roselle. See the uh, Hornell coaches matching uh, with their attire today. Was, I don't know if that was planned or not, but... I hope it wasn't, but... Take your time. Yep. Don't be in a hurry. I think we've shown the ability that, that we can beat their defense. That's it. Nice fake by Colin Fish. Smith. That's the beauty of playing these teams. You can see they've made some adjustments already. Yeah. The stuff they get away with against some other teams. And that was just good defense. That's a by good no call, too. Yeah. Oh, and then just Nichols shouldn't be bringing the ball down court. Oh, should have been a foul there, but count it. I don't think Nichols should be trying to drive the. <laughs> oh, he knew that was coming, too. And there. It's okay, don't get flustered. Yeah. They're gonna get some of those against you. Oh, really? But it's also, you can't be standing still waiting for the ball. Jackson should have taken one step toward the pass. You know yeah. what I mean? Jackson's waiting for it. And Let's go, play basketball. Play basketball. 12-10 all of a sudden here. Yep. Long shot, no good. Good job. White feels it. That's the. Good job by Ethan stopping baseline. First quarter action Hornell versus World of Inquiry. Downtown Rochester School. Nice pass, nice look, good pass. Nice job. That's okay. Yep, Nichols couldn't finish yep. it, but that's all right. Jackson White, number four with the ball. And I know my sons always love playing these teams from Rochester. Good job, Tanner. Yep, Tanner inside. And he's going to get fouled on the way up. Time fouls on number one, DJ Handy from the Griffs. Again, that, yeah, I agree with you. You know, during the regular season, I want to play the toughest competition exactly. you could possibly, yep. you know. When you're eight and zero or nine, ten and zero, and you're playing, you know, a bunch of Class C teams that just can't put it together yet, you know what I mean? It just doesn't help. Yeah. And, and, and we've talked about it before, and, and we're at a disadvantage sometimes because when they make us play down in the Livingston County League and require us to, instead of letting us right. schedule our own. I mean, you have to plan, game. right? Yeah. yeah. So. I think we should go independent. <laughs> Give him that one all day. Oops. Now be smart. Take your time. There you go. That's it. No hurry. Good thought. Inside look, and I like a oh, beautiful nice pass job. By Colin yes. Bish. That beautiful job. It was a great pass from Stutzman to Bish first. Yep. Well, the key is that Callen didn't hesitate. Right, on a steal by Nichols. Can't finish. Good no call by the official. And there's a three. Oh. 
Connor should have. That was a nice crisp pass yeah, by was. Colin. He threw a hard, but that, that was certainly a catchable ball. Four point nine seconds left. Yeah, you know, every kid wants to take the last shot. <laughs> the buzzer beaters. Uh, so that's going to take us to the second. Very entertaining first quarter. At yeah, 15 to 13, of course, John and or John Wyand and Dr. Joseph McKay at Wyand Chiropractic. Thank you for your support. 20 Park Drive in Horno. Get well and stay well with a visit to Wyan Chiropractic. Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union on Erie Avenue and Hornell. Stop in and check out their loan deal. Stop and see Marty Piccolo at Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union. Marino's right around the corner. Lunches and dinners. Great lunches and dinners, in fact. Open 11.30 till 10 p.m. at night. And bars open till 1. Marino's. Yum frozen yogurt. It's been so frozen out. I don't think anyone wanted frozen yogurt, but... Uh, it's a very good place. Actually, I've seen some people in there in the last couple days, so yum frozen yogurt. Airtightofnewyork.com, spray foam insulation, commercial and residential, new and old construction. Call 368-2842, Airtight of New York. Remax Hometown Choice. Office is at 117 Main Street, the old Norberts. Call 697-3629, Martha Marino and Reggie Gambino. It's a lot of O's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not either one of their maiden's names, so. No, you're right. <laughs> and O'Connor with another O. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Father was a great man and mother, great woman. Father Ouchie O'Connor died about 30 years ago now. Yeah. Big member of the Knights of Columbus Sports Night Committee and stuff, so. Said, I know this uh, this JV coach for World of Inquiry is is coach varsity level, and and you can tell by uh, the way he coaches and the, the plays he's drawing up in the uh, in the huddle. What's going on there? Oh, the, tuck it in shirts. These are one of the, the schools that are up and coming. Yeah, number. got to recognize number one is obviously their outside shooter. They, they seem to be running everything, and kicking out to him. Yeah. That's a good job by Tanner Stetson. Look out. It's a recognition. You always got to remember the defense is behind you. Yep. On a steal like that, especially. Yep. And against a team like this, he's got to make the adjustment on speed. There is someone behind you at all times. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good cut to the basket. Fish. It's all right. It's a nice open shot. You got to take that yeah. shot. Again, you pointed out early, early on, we do have a height advantage. I don't think that's going to be the same come varsity. They got some six foot five guys. I think listed. Oh, really? Okay. Well, the great thing is, is that we'll see if the varsity made an adjustment from the blowout game and, and see if... Yeah, Hornell had a game postponed against Livonia. At Livonia. It's supposed to be Wednesday, but they changed it again. I don't know, or Thursday, too. I... Now, is Livonia, um, they're good every year, but... Just curious if you've seen anything out of Livonia that yet this year. I haven't. I, I talked to Coach Matt Young, the head coach there. He was scouting the bath game and um, said they had struggled a little bit to start the season, but have righted the ship. They're going to trap us every time we hold in that court. Well, that's the thing you can count on. That Matt always has them prepared and they play hard. Livonia, you know, is one of those teams you know what you're going to get as far as effort. Good steal by Stutzman. Yeah, you're right. I 
Boston. So far, limited sub, sub, subbing by Coach Whitney, but I think that's the way it's going to be against this team. This is, yeah, this is a game to, to go with your core players. Jonas Kays checks in for Nichols. Good. Ooh, got hit in the head. I don't know how that's not a foul. Yeah, I know. His glasses got knocked yeah. off. Oh, what was that? Oh, God. I don't like you, like you said, the, the circus play here. Good staying on the floor that time by Kays, and he gets the rebound. It's a good defense by Kays. Yep, take your time. Oh, nice pass by Collins. Collins very good at the no look pass. Yeah, he is. And he snaps, nice hard snap passes. Jackson got in the paint early on. That's a good job by Connor getting into the paint. There's a three downtown by White. Usually if a guard dribbles into the paint, good things happen. Yep. Oh. Underneath that time by Zaire Gray. Have another timeout. 18 to 13, Hornell on top. We'll take a shot inside. Don't forget varsity action coming up. Originally supposed to be a 6 o'clock start, but probably going to be more like 6.15 to 6.20 because of the World of Inquiry was late. And they they'd emailed the school and said they weren't going to be on time earlier today, because they had some issues, I guess, they had to take care of. Of course, Maple City Dodge, thank you for your support. And I think Hornell's height has had an effect as far as um, as I'm listening to the World of Inquiry coach talk to his team, I think Hornell's height does have an effect on them changing their shot. They're getting to the basket, but I, I think uh, Hornell's bigs, meaning Nichols and Stutzman, are a little bit intimidating in there, and I think they're making too much of an adjustment up to their shot. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what Tanner Stutzman's listed at, but... It says 6'1", but I don't know. He looks bigger than 6'1 to me. Oh, down court and let it go out of bounds. That's a good job. Kays wouldn't have got his hands up that quick to... to be a more three-point shooting game. It's, it's filtered its way down to the high school level, but that one was a little too deep. I don't want it to be filtered to NBA shots. Yeah. <laughs> that ball when he's got them on his back. They were inviting Stutzman to take a regular shot. Nice little move inside that time, number 15, Dorian Smith. That ties the ball game up 18 to 18. Ah. Oh, 
Jonathan JV action here. World of Inquiry versus Hornell JV. Bob Pleasure and Joe Flintz from Maple City Park, A Gym. Hornell Senior High School. Soon to be refurbished. Yep, they're gonna rip it all apart. Again, Word of Acquire staying with this 3-2 zone. Which I'm a little surprised that they, you know, they did some man-to-man -man press, but I'm a little surprised they haven't attacked Cornell with a man-to-man -man defense. Nice take by Bish that time, yep. unable to finish. Get in front of him, oh, that's a carry. But. Yep. Nice move that time by Kays, but just lacks the speed, I think, to... Yep. He's a shooter. Good job by Tanner. White for three. Timeouts. World of Inquiry. Yes, hello. Hi. I received a letter today from Workman's... You did your homework. You knew who to call, and you could tell right away you were in good hands. They told you exactly how things would go, and they were right every step of the way. No surprises is a good thing. You got the results you deserve, and you're thankful for the professionals fighting on your side. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Well, I tell you one thing, yeah, first two minutes, I was a little worried that we were gonna get blown out of the gym. Yeah, there was some adjustment, good quick timeout. We had a timeout like 10 seconds yep. into the game and yep. Coach Whitney able to uh, yep. square things away. And I think they were just playing too fast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I said, I wouldn't doubt that um, in the second half that the World of Inquiry doesn't come at us with a man-to-man -man defense. But yeah. he knows his team, and maybe they're not disciplined enough. And um, they can basically play a man-to-man -man with their speed, staying in the zone. Outside. Shot no good. Number Nigel Willie or Wiley. That's good. Callan has really made the adjustment on his head fakes. Just a, not a very good set shot that time by Smith. Rushed. I always like it when I, you know, teaching young kids, I always taught them to shoot the three on the pass, not dribbling up, you know what I mean? You have a better set shot like that pass. Boom, see? Jackson White. That's, the, you know, and I think the good thing with Jackson is. Inside, beautiful pass, and a block from behind. So he can't, he can't, he can't worry about that. No. Oh, 
Oh, almost that time. Rebounded. The kick out Kays. Inside, stolen away. Oh, and a block from behind that time by Jackson White. Yeah, Jackson. Yep. on the Hornell side, too. Yeah. You would have thought maybe they would test the zone. And there's a foul on the shot. So it looks like, to me, I mean, number one's the only one that's really hurt us from the outside. Yeah, that's a DJ Handy. That was a good take by Colin. You know, there was a lane there. The biggest thing against teams like this is you don't want to go in the shell and don't try things, especially at the JV level. Right, Michael Thomas checking in. I mean, this is where you get better when you try things and fail. That's okay. It's the people that don't make that adjustment and they you know, just pass it to someone without putting pressure on the defense. They don't get any better. You're right, yep. Stolen, good job by White, and then White's all alone. Yeah, not a very good. Oops, yeah, they've got to call a foul or something. Like that. They call it travel. Oh, they call it travel. Okay, they might have traveled first. I which is, uh, number four does travel quite often, Michael Thomas. I think it's just something he needs to correct in that little half step. Yeah, he had time to take it all the way in, I think, Joe. Yeah. So 25-21 on the John and Dagan scoreboard. We'll be back with the second half after this. Stay with us. Our customers expect the highest level of sales and service here at Maple City Dodge. I don't buy a lot of trucks because they last so long, but I know I'll be back to Maple City Dodge for my next one. We always shop around and we've ended up buying our last six vehicles from Maple City Dodge. They always have the best deals. I've always found their service department to be prompt and courteous. Come on down to Maple City Dodge where we make buying a car easy and fun. Along with Joe Flint from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth here, Hornell up JVs 25 21. That was super entertaining, well played first half. You know, it's not just run and gun, even, uh, even the World of Inquiry team is running a nice offense. Yep. They do count on getting steals, but when they're in the half course set, they, they're, they're pretty good. Yeah, travel, yep. Yeah. A little bit, some discipline stuff, you know, not, kids are young, they're yep. learning, you know. Like I said, the, 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 the referees are uh, keyed right into your back foot. If it goes backwards first, yeah, they, that's where they get you for the travel. Right. Yeah. Side shot is good. Shot by Connor Smith. Yep. All the Hornell kids seem to play under control, you know? A lot of times you have one or two guys that seem like they're out of control a lot. Yeah. But a very well-disciplined team Hornell has. Yep. And that's probably why they're 8-0. Corey Miller takes it in. Nice little dribble drive and pass there underneath. Dropped it off to Zaire Gray, just a little short on that shot. It's a good 
advantage Hornell has with Tanner up top toe, too. He's so good with his feet for a big guy. Should be three seconds. Decision too by Stutzman, and then a good decision again to take it right in. You know what I mean, Joe? It was like yeah. a good decision not to do it, and then the defense kind of went laps on him, and he was able to take it in for an easy bucket, 30 to 21. Well, and the, these teams prey on people's weaknesses, and Cornell's showing they can hang with these guys. the first half there and uh, with a bunch of three-point shots, a couple by Jackson yep. White, and then they start off this half with Connor Smith hitting one. Next thing you know, you look up and we're up nine. Yeah. So Tanner's a uh, defense at the top of this. You see what I mean, Bob? Yeah. He moves his feet well. He is invaluable to this team. Keeps getting hit in the face. <laughs> Can you see it again? <laughs> oh, nice look underneath. Oh, and then. Uh, huh. I was going to say, I thought he was going to say it was blue ball. Defense was kind of focused in on Stutzman there, and Connor Smith was wide open underneath. Yep. And. Coach from Charlotte, or excuse me, I was going to say Charlotte, World of Inquiry realized he needs to get his three-point shooter in. So that was Corey Miller with the three. DJ Hardy was the three-point shooter in the first half. So another three by Jackson White. 33-21. Yeah, Nichols. Yep. I don't think anybody's in foul trouble on either team. In reality, it's been actually a pretty clean game. Even yeah. Though it's been a lot of steals. I'm not sure if he didn't go over the line, but it was really close. <laughs> really close. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he did that time, yeah. Yeah. I think he did the first time. Yeah. That's why I was watching him this time, too. I, I suppose technically it's really close to from when his foot hits the ground and when the ball hits the rim. But <laughs> Today's game is brought to you by Yum Frozen Yogurt here on Seneca Road, right across from the high school. Stop in. 12 different flavors of self-serve frozen yogurt, about 50 different toppings. Yum Frozen Yogurt. Spray foam insulation at airtightofnewyork.com in Hornell, New York, right here. Commercial and residential, new and old construction, airtightofnewyork.com. Remax Hometown Choice with an office in 117 Main Street or in the old Norbert's building, 697 3629. Of course, Connors and Ferris. Workers' Cap Attorneys, their offices in Buffalo and Rochester. Thanks, Greg Connors, for your support. coming with their press. Easily break that time, look at that. Oh, and then an ill-advised pass that time. I think he'd have been all right with a bounce pass. He yeah, I think went, he would yep. have been too.
Well, like we talked about before, I mean, we, you know how we talked about I mean, wondered if Cornell would try his own, and they certainly did. They came out in the second half trying this zone of themselves. Something was amiss there. Yep. White. And the, the bounce house is open there, Joe. Yeah. Uh, up and down, in and out, and it finally goes in. Well, he certainly doesn't hesitate to let it rip. No, he doesn't. That's a good take. He learned that from his dad. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if you've ever been in front of Brett on a fast break. <laughs> it's a game of chicken, and you usually lose. <laughs> Whitney's gonna get called with the technical. So what happened first? What, okay, yeah. So I, you know, I kind of missed seeing that a little bit, Bob. So that they call a foul. Well, he was asking for a foul on uh, when Jackson took it up there, and he just kept riding the official about it. I think. And but it was Hornell ball. Yeah, and I'm not, not sure okay. what happened after because it was a whistle first, and then he called the technical. I think there might have been a foul, maybe. Or out of bounds, might have been out of bounds. Off Hornell, but it's gonna be world's ball first. Couple subs new, new into the game. Oh, nice little move that time. Very nice shot. Oh, she thought it was let out of control. Stutzman. Oh. Trey Alexander. Good steal that time by White. World of the car is staying with his own. was a little off that time. Yep. Turn around by Nichols, no good. Number 15 has really been their, Doran Smith has been the key player for Very good at finishing at, at the basket. Sometimes you think he's out of control, but he does a nice job of blocking yeah. himself right before he gets to the basket. And Hornell with a 12 point lead with about two and a half minutes left. Jackson White, that's about his fourth, maybe fifth three pointer. Stepped over him. I don't think he really meant anything uh, uh, about it. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I think Tanner did step over him. I don't know if it was meant to be disrespectful, but that's certainly the way it was taken. Good job by both coaches. Give each one of the guys a, a breather. Meanwhile, White comes away with it. And the uh, 
<laughs> World of Inquiry. Bench players love Jackson. Watching him shoot. See, they're cheering for him every time he makes a shot. I don't know if they're cheering, but they're impressed. Saved by Ethan Nichols. There's a three by Connor Smith. Twenty point lead now, and then knocked away by Jackson White. Fire Joe. He's been on fire all day. Yes, he has. They're going to feed him again. You got to take it in this time. Oh, they were hoping. So 49-26. Yeah, this, uh, this game, uh, quite a drastic change. Went from a pretty tight game. Again, I think Cornell kept their focus and maybe uh, where the McQuarrie kind of lost their focus on what they want to do. Give credit to Coach Whitney for A, keeping his team focused, B, making the adjustments. Don't forget coming up after this, varsity action. Five and three Hornell Red Raiders versus the eight and one World of Inquiry. Uh, never try that back behind the back. Easy play for Jackson. better performances I've seen in years, three-point wise, and he needs it. He's had some off games, you know what I mean? He started out hot this year and then had a couple of games where he wasn't making much. He was shooting a lot. And well, and that's the key is knowing during a game he's hot now and the, the heat check is going to keep coming. Yep. Um, and then, unfortunately, in the nights it's not working, he's got to make sure he knows enough not to not to take some of those shots. Yeah. But he seems like he's got a great head on his shoulders, so. Yep. We adjusted the defense, and we gave him more free shots than we hit the first inch. Today's game is brought to you by Maple City Dodge, Airport Road, and Hornell. Stop up and see the new 2018s. Great sales, great service, Maple City Dodge. Rhonda Wilsey, Howard Hanna, 382 39 letter. Find your next home and sell your last. Howard Hanna and Rondo will see. John and Dagan, general and trial practice, serving the Southern Tier since 1989. Call 324-6690. Main Street Redemption Center, get your cans and bottles. Open seven days a week into Main Street Redemption Center. Open nine to six, Monday through Friday, nine to three, Saturday and Sunday. Of course, Poulos and Roselle, Tim Roselle and Bill Poulos, attorneys at law. Call 324-7333. Join Connors and Ferris in supporting the Kelly Tough Every Score, benefiting Hunter's Hope. Every time the Bills score, children win. For more information, visit connorsandferris.com. 
If you get hurt at work, you want to be able to turn to a professional you can trust, someone on your side. Call 262-COMP today and get the results you deserve. Connors and Ferris, committed to serving you. Okay, 55-26, Hornell's up by 24. Be interesting to see what Jackson White's statistics are. You've been keeping them, haven't you, Joe? Uh, yeah, I think he's got six three-pointers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what his total points are. Yeah. But we know it's in the 20s. Don't forget varsity action coming up after this. Don't, I hope he just doesn't just start chucking it up now. Just, just work it in, there you go. Now, Wurla McQuarrie's got some subs in there. They got some guys that haven't played at all out there right now, so. Good time. Well, so does Hornell. We got the Scotty kid with the ball. And for the first time. Oh. Isaiah Garcia, the Hornell. Player is out. He's injured, Bob? No. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. I had asked earlier and he, that he'll be back soon. Well, life's full of lessons. And so That's right. You know. That's the beauty of JVs. Remember when I used to coach against you, I used to teach you a lesson every game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Was that you? <laughs> uh, the good old days. Oh, yeah. They were down to three senior bitty teams. Now they're back up to four this year. Really? Boy. So that's good. Well, Numbers are back up a little bit. Yeah. One of the best years ever. Oh, jeez. Was, there was eight teams, eight or nine, I think nine. And, uh, my team was a six team the year we won it. But it wasn't like we had a terrible record. It was just that good a league that year and yeah. all the teams were within a game or two. Nice defense that time. Stolen away by Scotty. White. Beautiful take that time by White. Is that a left or right hand? You know how I like to. Yeah. Well, sure. he was so deep, he had to go with his right hand because yeah. his left hand was underneath. So. I will say this, you gotta give Callum Bish credit today. He, he's, he's really steadied his game and his passes have been really good today. He has, yep. He kind of gets people some open shots because he gets them the, he gets them the basketball at the right time. Some people are so late getting it there, they've missed the opportunity. Yes. Colin sees things early and gets people the ball when they can actually do something with it. I would assume that some of these guys are... Well, he just... That one Jackson just threw up because the shot clock was going down and that one went in, so... When you're hot, you're hot. Someone might want to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> They've already been hit, I think. Oh. <laughs> the 500. Okay. Don't forget. Varsity action coming up after this. Hawaiian Chiropractic, 20 Park Drive in Hornell. Dr. John Wine and Dr. Joseph McKay. Get well and stay well with a visit to Hawaiian Chiropractic. Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union, protection for you for over 50 years on Erie Avenue, right next to the old Stubbies. Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union. Which right around the corner is Marino's, 110 Loader Street in Hornell. Opens at 11.30 in the morning for lunches. Great dinners as well. And the bar is open until 1 a.m. Yum frozen yogurt. Stop in 12 different flavors of frozen yogurt and about 50 different toppings. Yum froyo. 
thought it was Greek for something else, but. Airtightofnewyork.com, in horn house, spray foam insulation, commercial and residential, new and old construction, attics and additions, you name it, airtightofnewyork.com. And Remax, hometown choice, 117 Main Street in Hornell. Reggie Gambino, Martha Marino, Remax, hometown choice. Okay, in for Hornell, number 22, Connor O'Rourke. Of course, previously, Jonah Scotty had made, a, made an entrance. Um, still got Jackson White in there. A little bit surprising there. Yeah, we haven't seen Martin or Marty Piccolo yet. Or uh, Dunn, Eli Dunn. Well, I will say this, and I've been critical in the past. I, I do enjoy when you are substituting people in to do it a mix of starters and, Easy. and substitutes. Easy shot for a work that time. Put himself in a good position there, Joe. Yep. Long shot, no good. Jackson White. Whoa, uh oh, the magic's gone. <laughs> well, that one was ill advised. <laughs> yeah, I think he just went, he set, saw the pick coming up. And yep. Jackson is kind of a gym rat since he was a little kid. Yeah. Played a lot of men's basketball with his dad, and he'd always bring Jackson shooting down at the other rim. Obviously, it paid off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, being lazy that time, Stutzman. And with the pass, too. Michael Thomas. Nice. No, that's not Michael Thomas. Number 22. Yeah. Up there, Sam Cruz. Nice pass by Colin Bish. Side shot is good. Wow. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Well, you just got to be careful that you're, you know, you don't want anybody it doesn't to get become hurt. an embarrassment, and, yeah. and, you know, to the other team. And right. Right now, they got a bunch of subs out there, and Jackson could get any shot he wanted, really. Right. Really not proving anything. I'm surprised White is still in. Might be other players' discipline reasons or something. Might be that they don't have, I don't know. No, you can put, Mar Marty Pickle hasn't been in yet. got the camera facing this all of a sudden we're getting ready to shoot down here like I didn't see the ball come in. I think it was just like a pickup game they just grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> here comes Marty Piccolo. <laughs> Whitney's telling him he used to make him just like that. Travel by Piccolo underneath. I think he, he was going to shoot. It looked like he was going to try yeah. shooting, and then he figured he's too far under. Yep. So. Yep, just to make that adjustment at that point sometimes. Especially with these newer schools, the world of inquiry. I, you know, to tell you the truth, I, you know, I don't know how many years they've been in existence, but I, I think what they sometimes struggle with is depth. 
because they're, you know, especially at the JV level because they're just starting up and uh, get organized. And yeah. It's a little bit of a struggle at that point. But trust me, this uh, I think this coach in a, a few years will have them hitting on all cylinders. He's been a great coach for a long time. Job for Eli. Eli done. Yeah, nice and under control. He didn't act like you know. Oh my gosh, I got the ball. Good job coming in and and putting the basket. Well, and as we get ready for the varsity game, like you said, um, they've played some pretty big schools. They've played four, one single A and, and, and three double A schools. And they've defeated them all. They beat Monroe, which we used to play Monroe occasionally. Yeah. Uh, a close game, they beat uh, Annie Douglas. Northeast? I guess so. I, I don't know if that's what that me means. Or. And then the School of the Arts is always pretty good. They beat them. Some of those schools choose to play up or down, so yeah. it's hard to tell what size they are. A nice steal by O'Rourke. Yes, very good job by Connor O'Rourke. So everyone else got deep teams. They got guys that played basketball on the bitty level and they can handle the basketball. You and I had a part of that yep. one time. Nice shot by number one, Deshaun Moore. Yeah, beautiful shot, Deshaun. And Deshaun on the rebound for Deshaun. I'm not sure. It's a place for us we should know. <laughs> Oops, Eli couldn't handle the pass. Ooh. O'Rourke. Piccolo wide open. Good job. And count it. Good job by Marty Piccolo. Nice pass that time by O'Rourke. Seeing his North Ronell companion. Ooh, oh, in and out. Slow Trey Alexander down. testing testing the deep. So for Joe Flynn, I'm Bob Fleischer. Thanks for joining us. This was JV Action. Stay tuned. Varsity Action coming right up. Final score is going to be 71-29. Another Pleischer Sports production. Thanks for being with us. See you in a few minutes.